everybody and welcome. Today's video, we're going to be telling you... and welcome today's video we're going to be talking about boxy charms specifically the premium box for april more spoilers have come out and i'm pretty excited to talk about them with you guys i will be coming back and doing a video talking about the april boxy charm base box for you guys as well because more things have come out and i'm pretty excited about them so before we jump into the video if y'all are new here hey welcome my name's Rhonda, and over here we embrace the hot mess. We run typically on a lot of caffeine, but I have simmered down on that. Not gonna lie, even though I, I do have this sitting here. This is amazing. You guys recommended the candy apple crisp bang. I put a lot of trust in you guys because that is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Anyways, guys, over here, it is a judgment and drama free zone where we sit back, relax, we talk about makeup. And as always, we remember at the end of the day, it is in fact, only makeup it washes off it's not that serious I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are well and I hope that maybe these videos do help to kind of take your mind off of everything that's going on around us so I know they're definitely helping me so anyways guys let's go ahead and let's jump into everything we know about the April BoxyCharm premium box if you guys are new to BoxyCharm and you're kind of like, what the heck is the premium box that your girl's talking about? Let me tell you, this is a monthly subscription box. It is $35 plus tax and it does give you at least a minimum of $175 worth of product. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the products that we do know we will see. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is a mix of variation. I'll have pictures popping up over here for you guys. And as always, if I've gotten them off of Instagram, Facebook, whatever site it may be, I do keep the Instagram handle on there for you guys so you guys, so they get credit. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay guys, so getting right into the items that we know are going to be a variation. This is not something that we were we got to choose or anything like that. The first one is the Pure Barbie palette. Now the packaging alone had your girl sold. So I think this is absolutely a beautiful 12 pan eyeshadow palette, but you guys know eyeshadow palettes are 100% my weakness. I, I don't wanna tell you how many I have. It is fortunately a judgment free zone but I will tell you guys if this palette by chance two of the colors kind of freak you out in this palette which would be the magenta and the blue I would say for most people just cover it up and it's okay it, it's still a very neutral friendly type of eyeshadow palette the darker ones always remember multitask your products you can always like line your um, lid with the dark shades as an eyeliner so I think that this palette is very pretty and I'll be honest with you guys any of the items I'm talking about right now well all of the items I'm talking about right now I kind of really want them all like FOMO is real and I'm like Oh, can you just put them all in her box? You know what I mean? Okay, so the next item is the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette. Now, I do not have this palette, but I do have the dupe for this palette. But this is one that is going to be a potential in our box, and it is a great palette. Even if you are scared of colors, you still have a good eight shades in here that are very neutral friendly, very, I would assume, easy to work with. Like I said, I'm talking on the dupe palette that I have by C Color Cosmetics called Dope 2, and I love that palette. So this one actually does come with a brush in here, but that is one variation. The next is by Smashbox. I think this was called like the LA... Ah, I don't have that written down, but I think it was like LA something palette. And again, I love the fact that the palettes that they chose to put into our premium boxes are very versatile. Like it's gonna give you some of the color that some may love, but it's also gonna going to give you that neutral, you know, friendly type of shadows in there that I don't know about you guys, but that's definitely more my comfort zone. We're not gonna talk about my lips. I'm outside my comfort zone, but you know what? I'm taking my mind off things and I'm playing in makeup that I have not played in in so long. Ready for the sidetrack? Here it comes. You guys, do you remember when I absolutely loved the Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define foundations? Uh, yeah, I actually have those on today and I'm like, wow. Okay, we're going to bring it back. Here we are. Welcome. 
judgment free zone anywho so that palette like i said is gonna be uh, a variation then we're gonna talk about one more item in here and this is by pharmacy this is the honey potion renewing antioxidant hydrating mask i unfortunately don't know much about this but i do know that i love all things skincare so i do like the fact that there is a variation in here that we may you know get skincare or an eyeshadow palette but either way like i said your girl loves eyeshadow palettes moving on then we had our premium choice and i forget the date that that happened but either way it's already passed and the options that we had available for our choice dates were the stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and i guess it was rose gold um the peach and lily good acids pore toner or you could have chose the Kapari Coconut Face Cream. Uh, the option was, another option was the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer or the Becca Cosmetics Luminous Blush. Now I don't know as far as the blush goes, if we got to choose a, you know, the specific color, or what have you. Let me know down below what you guys decided on when it came to our premium choice. I have to say I did like the fact that there was a large option given. So if makeup wasn't your thing and you were leaning more towards skincare, you could choose those things or primer, what have you. So let me know down below what you guys ended up choosing. Now, let's talk about what was just released. And Joe, this I actually follow him over on Facebook, and he actually did a video, which I can go ahead and I will insert that after I tell you guys. But there are two items that we're gonna talk about. Again, it's another variation, but this is confirmed. This is something that we will be seeing in our premium. Now, if you guys remember I did a video, I want to say it was maybe January, early February, where we saw Joe was in New York. He was at Natasha Denona. He said we would be seeing Natasha Denona. So we are going to be seeing Natasha Denona, potentially, like not in everybody's. This, it's going to be a variation, but we will be seeing the Natasha Denona blush duo. And I am on Natasha Denona's website right now. Y'all, there is a total of 19 shades, and it has a retail value of $38. Now, I'll tell you, I actually have the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palette, and I have the cream blush and actually a little bit of the powder blush on it today. And I love her formula, but you guys know... I just really like Natasha Denona formula. There's not much of hers, if any, that I can think of that I don't like. I mean, there's some things that I'm like, why did I buy that? But formula-wise, I like it. So as far as the 19 shades go, I don't know if it's going to be kind of like we saw with the NARS, I think it's called the Power Matte Pigment lipsticks, uh, where there was, I want to say it like five, and then we received from there so i don't know if there's going to be just a couple and it's going to be a surprise either way or if it's going to be one specific duo does that make sense probably not i'm eh, i'm off my game let's be honest guys i haven't filmed in a bit i pre-recorded a lot of stuff anywho so then the next item is new to boxycharm and this is called levito i believe again i'm going to play joe's video for you guys so if i enunciate it incorrectly You'll have the right way in a second. Levito Age Away Replenishing Cream. This does have a retail value of $55. I did find that Goop sells it, Fat Fit Fun has had it in their boxes, and I'm pretty excited about this. I went ahead, looked it up on the internet, and it says it increases hydration, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, made with 11 innovative plant actives, this advanced anti-aging solution is clinically proven to diminish the appearance of dryness, wrinkles, and rough texture while it deeply nourishes mature and compromised skin. Yes, please. I will take that. And I would also like the Natasha Denona. <laughs> so I was really excited about this as well being an option. As Joe says in his video, this is Nude Who Boxy Charm. This is a brand from Israel. So I'm very excited to try this if potentially I do receive it in a premium box. So anyways, that is what we know so far. I'll go ahead and play Joe's video real quick. It's like a minute or so. Okay guys, one more sneak peek for Boxycharm Premium April. 
Uh, ignore the other items you see over here. We already sneak peek those. I'll touch those in a second. All we're going to be talking about is one and two. Okay. So we have the Natasha Denona blush, and this is the packaging. I actually opened that before. Let me open this now. And this is the blush dual. Okay. And we have over here the Levito. It's a new brand. We never worked with them before, and this is the first time. It's all made in Israel, and this is uh, a cream, okay, face cream. And this is a replenishing cream, all right? So this is uh, basically what the packaging looks like. So you can see the ingredients over here, okay? Okay, guys, so that's everything we know so far for our premium box. I don't know if we'll, we'll find out anything else, but like I said, the only guaranteed item that you know you will be receiving is whatever you chose for your premium choice. As far as everything else goes, it's a variation. So all I can do is tell you, like, these are the potential items that you could see in your box, but of course, it's not a guarantee. As well as I did want to mention, add-on dates are going to be available. Monday, April 13th for premium and luxe members. And then on Tuesday, April 14th for all base box members. So as far as the add-ons go, this is something that we do get to do every single month as an option. Now, like I told you guys in the past, if there is something that you don't receive in your base box or your premium box or even your luxe box, Lux box, don't stress out because those items potentially we will see in the future as an add-on. And that's what we're seeing here. So it looks like if you guys really wanted the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Balm, that looks like that's going to be an available item for the April add-on. As well as the Too Faced Highlighter and the Ace Beauty, or Ace Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, it looks like that's going to be something that's going to be available as well. So anyways guys, that's all the information I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video enough to give your girl a big thumbs up. I hope you all are safe and well wherever you are in the world and don't forget to turn on your notification bells because I do like to upload these every so often as soon as I get them edited and fil or filmed and edited for you guys I just kind of pop them up so I want to surprise you guys with this so either happy Tuesday or happy Wednesday I don't know how fast I can get this up for you guys if you guys are curious as to what is on my lips because I feel like maybe Maybe somebody may ask that. Uh, of course, I have my good old uh, Gerard Cosmetic Sugar and Spice Liner, but I do have this MAC Shamelessly Vain uh, lipstick, and I have to say, this is like insanely moisturizing. Like, it's it's not tra transfer proof, but it's really comfortable. So that's what's on my lips. And as far as, um, like I said, I'm going outside and playing in all different kinds of makeup because obviously I have the time to do that so I've got a little bit of my KKW and Mario eyeshadow palette on and then I do have on the bottom underneath I wanted to add a little bit of color I've got the Smashbox this is the hashtag repost little trio palette and then I found a, my old bad hat okay here's the deal guys I know some of you guys are still not with or still with me and if you are thank you I really truly appreciate it um, but this is by bad habits I really want that Nicole Guerrero palette by ABH but obviously I can't so I went through my collection and I found the dupe for it this was back when bad habits and shop hush was still around so I've got a little bit of this on I've got all kinds of different stuff on today guys and I'm like huh fun to play in makeup, right? Take your mind off everything. So anyways, guys, I'm going to hop off for now. If you guys, like I said, enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up. I will leave some videos somewhere at the end that you guys, if you guys want to watch some more, I would greatly appreciate it. Am I off? A hundred percent. I got a lot on my mind, but I know we all do. So anyways, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky.